Can you tell me why you should stop biting your nails? You'll save a fortune on those stick-on fake nails you keep getting. Then I might end up paying a larger fortune to manicurists. You can keep your own nails well-rounded and neat with an emery board and little curved thingy to get the grime from under them. All you are citing is beauty standards set by other people, standards I don't think I can meet. Think about all the stuff you touch, and all the grime and germs under your fingernails. That's why we wash our hands. Now realize that you are putting the gunk in your mouth. And, perhaps, swallowing it. I wash my hands. There shouldn't be any health risk. There was an outbreak of diseases in a neonatal hospital traced to the germs under the nurse's fake fingernails. And you're putting your real ones in your mouth every time you bite your nails. I think you're taking the risks to an extreme. Okay, so would you stop biting your nails if you realized what a bloody mess it made of your fingers? It's a nervous habit. Have you considered chewing gum? That's annoying. Twirling your hair. That'll mess up your hair. When you bite your nails, you mess them up worse, and you can brush your hair back into place. What could I do to break the habit? Go to the store. And buy nail polish? Not quite. Buy that anti-thumb-sucking goop they sell in the baby aisle and put it on your fingers. That's for thumb-sucking. That's to stop anyone from putting any fingers or thumbs in their mouths. You can think of it as nail polish, if you want. That stuff just smells nasty. Looking at your jagged fingernails and bleeding cuticles is too.